Alright, so this is Life and Steps here recording my Let's Play video for Carnivores 2. You might be asking yourself, what is Carnivores 2? And that's a reasonable question, unless you were born in the early 90s, in which it's a totally unreasonable question, and you should know, because it's awesome. So, anyway, Carnivores 2, uh, for the sake of the people who were not born in the early to mid-90s, uh, is a game where you hunt dinosaurs. Holy crap! Oh my god. Okay. It's a game where you hunt dinosaurs in an open world, and, um, they will murder the crap out of you. So, usually these guys are terrifying. Uh, I can't believe I just took them down with a single shot. I, I don't even... I, I don't even know how I did that. So, anyway, you're, uh, kind of set into this open world, and you pick something to hunt, and you pick a weapon. And, uh, there's some sort of, like, perks that you can get, I guess, is what you would call them in modern-day terminology. You can cover your sense, or cover your smell, I'm gonna die. There's another one over there. Oh my god, I don't know why there's so many, I'm just trying to talk about the game. Why do you have to be such a jerk, AI director? Okay. Maybe we'll be alright. So, um, it's taken me a while to kind of get my Let's Play working correctly. Uh... I'm, this is my, my third try recording this, actually, but, um, it's working now, so... Uh, there's not a whole lot to the game besides that. Yeah, like I said, just an open world, not kind of non-objective. As you kill more dinosaurs and achieve more goals, you earn more money. And that is my call to the Allosaurus. I'm inviting him to come feast on me and, uh, eat me and stuff. So, I only have five shots, and I think I'm just going to wait for him to come over here to me and try to wait him out. This is incredibly dangerous, and I don't have cover or anything, and here we go, I'm going to die. I'm going to die! Oh! Oh my god! Whew. Ooh, two Allosaurus on the first video, oh my god. Ooh, this is, such, this is an achievement. Oh man, celebrate with me. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, I'm gonna start up another hunt. Because when you, uh, when you die in your hunt, you lose any points that you previously gained. And, uh, I'll see you then, so. Alright. Um, here we are. For the sake of, uh, being quick and everything, I've turned off the... The, uh, cover scent and everything, and I'm just moved with the pistol. This is area number two, Fort Siskin. Um... I hear there's a fort here, but I've never found it. Uh, anyway. That that last uh, little hunt was a little hectic. I've never really seen two of the hunted dinosaur that close together, but... Anyway, I'm hunting Allosaurus once more, and I'm here in Fort Siskin. And I have a pistol. Uh, the expo sucks, even though I just got two kills with it, so I can't complain too much, but... Um, the pistol just has a little more stopping power, and... Uh, it's just a little better. And it's much easier to aim, because it actually has a clear sight instead of a box. Well, anyway, down there on the bottom left, you'll see my little wind direction thing. And uh, to the bottom right, you'll see my compass. And um, I'm kind of trying to venture inland. Um, uh, you know, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm being a little cautious because... Kind of shook me up a little bit ago. Uh, the AI director's being a jerk today, so we're just gonna see. Probably something's gonna come out at me. I've never had that much luck. Usually they uh, kill me once or twice whenever I first see the Allosaurus, but anyway, so you saw a miracle just a few minutes ago. I want you to know that, and you should be very happy about that. Um, so essentially, just gonna climb up this hill here. Uh, as you gain more money, you gain the ability to hunt more dinosaurs. I may have already kind of been over this, but... Uh, and more weapons and more places and that sort of thing. Until you can eventually take down the T-Rex with the most powerful weapon in the game, which I don't even remember what that is. It's either the double-barreled shotgun or the sniper rifle. In all honesty, neither of them are all that good. The T-Rex, if I recall right, can only be damaged by it being shot directly in the eyeball. And uh, I've seen some people take down 
the T-Rex with a uh, pistol or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I'm not one of those people who can do that, so, you know, maybe I'll have a, a section, an uh, episode of the Let's Play dedicated to that challenge, but, um, for me to actually complete that challenge would probably take me years, so let's just not even. Um, I'm, I'm not that good. I, I'm not really all that good at all. I just enjoy playing this game, despite the fact that it terrifies me sometimes. Um... I do apologize ahead of time if, uh, well, you won't hear it, I'll probably re-record it, but I was going to say if you hear a massive static noise because Carnivores 2 running on Windows 7 likes to just flip out once in a while and just do this thing where it's, uh, where it, uh, drops down this massive, like, yelling and static noise, I think it's something, one of the game files, like the, the man death audio file thing being played over just lots and lots of static, and it's incredibly loud and very startling if uh, you're actually doing something at the time that it happens. And these other little dinosaurs, you may be wondering why I'm not shooting them. Uh, I can, but it's, it's a waste of my time. Uh, you don't get any money for it. It is kind of fun to watch them die, but that's pretty much all the reward you're going to get out of that. What's well, great? It hear that? See, that's a uh, that's the Allosaurus calling back. There he is, right there. Okay, so um, pull out my binoculars, and I'm now turned off the tranquilizer, which I had on in the round before this. So now. Should I kill him? Oh, he's detected me in some way. And he's trying to lure me down there to him. So, for the sake of this being fun, let's do this. I accept your challenge, Allosaurus. Bring on what you may. Let's just see what he has for me. Hopefully, whatever, uh, the AI is doing right now, my shooting will be enough to kind of outgun, if you will, <laughs> his uh, smarts, the, his AI, his little tactic that he's doing. Which, the AI does have some tactics, some pretty good ones to be uh, early 90s AI. And they have a disturbing tendency to uh, lure you into traps with their fellow creatures and that sort of thing. And, um, it's kind of frightening, so you may get to see some of that. We'll just see. He's really close. He's right around that mountain. Or on the mountain. Perhaps I can get him. He's, he's pretty close. I bet I can get him. He's gonna jump on me. I just know it. Where is he? Oh man. There he is, there he is. Come here. Come on. You know you want some of this. Don't you run. Darn it, you wuss. I say as I cry aloud about the Allosaurus just being there at all. I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. I got plenty of ammo. That was the first shot I fired, and if I hit him... And you'll be seeing a blood trail, which I did not. Of course. He seems to have kind of run off. The The gunshot was so loud, it probably startled him. There he is, out there in the water. Like shooting fish in a barrel, except for the fish are really far away, and they have giant razor-sharp teeth. And if they get close to you, you die. Die. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Oh no. Oh man. Well, that's 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 what happens when you run out of ammo and you get a little too foolhardy. Well, thanks for watching. Uh see you next episode.